Well, Shoreline, it's Wednesday, August 19th, and this is part two of our little mini journey through Psalm 145. So we're going to pick up right where we left off, and we're going to pick up in verse four. One generation commends your works to another. They tell of your mighty acts. They speak of the glorious splendor of your majesty. I will meditate on your wonderful works. They tell of the power of your awesome works, and I proclaim your great deeds. They celebrate your abundant goodness and joyfully sing of your righteousness. The theme here in this part of the psalm is to tell the next generation. There's this sense that God has been so good, he's so powerful, he's so glorious, that we, we, how can we not tell the next generation about God's goodness? And, and so, uh, so David in the psalm here goes through a number of things that we should pass on to the next generation. So here's what I'm going to ask you to do. I'm going to ask you to think for a moment, who's the next generation in your life? It could be a literal next generation. It could be your kids. It could be your grandkids. It could be your great-grandkids. My wife Sherry's dad and mom now have two great-grandchildren, and they're, and they're seeking to find ways to pass on the goodness of God to that next generation. So think in your family, nieces and nephews that you have influence over. How do you pass on to them the good things of God? And maybe it's a spiritual next generation. It's people who are younger in faith than you, that God's put you in their life, and you can declare the goodness of who God is. And, and so listen, listen to these things that were encouraged to pass to the next generation. Tell about God's mighty acts. Think about what has God done in your life, the mighty ways he's shown up. Or just the stories of the scriptures where God showed up with, among his people and did great things. Tell the next generation. Tell those younger people in your life, those family members, those spiritual family members. And let them know of God's mighty acts. Tell of his splendor, where God has just shown up in his glory, in his splendor, and you've seen it. Tell those stories. The next generation needs to know the glory of God. It says, tell about his wonderful works. Just God's works of creation. You can go on about that forever. But tell the next generation, help them notice and see the great works in the hands of God. David says, tell about his power. Tell stories of when you ran out of energy and ran out of power, yet God carried you through. Tell those stories to the next generation. My grandson and my granddaughter are still too young to really understand the stories of faith of God's work in my life. But I'll tell you what, my three sons, Zach, Josh, and Nate, they heard over and over again. When God showed up, when God did something, when God's power was there, I would tell those stories. Sometimes I tell the stories again and again through the years. I want my sons to know, and I want them to tell their children after them and the, the people they influence spiritually after them about the power and the glory of God. And then Dave finishes, uh, David finishes with talking about God's goodness. Where has God been good? Can you tell the stories of the goodness of God? You know, God was good to me when he put Sherry in my life. I, I, I think on my, on my own creativity, I'd have never been able to reach out to her and convince her to, to, to fall in love with me, but God did. God has been good. I tell those stories to the next generation. How has God been powerful and worked in your life and been good? What are God's mighty works? Here's my encouragement today. God has put people in your life who are younger than you chronologically or younger than you spiritually. They're family to you by blood or they're family through the family of God. Would you commit yourself today and the days to come to tell the next generation about what God has done? People love stories. You have stories to tell. Bless someone by sharing about the great things that God has done, about the glory of who he is, about his mighty works, about how he's shown up and strengthened you, tell those stories and it will influence the next generation. Well, that's part two. I'll be with you on Friday for part three of walking through Psalm 145.